Hi, my name is Iman. Hi, my name is Aisha. And hi, my name is Tosan. And we've all been at a and for four years. Initially, there was an interest meeting that was put on by Pastor Ayo. I was going to the men's fellowship at the time. He sent me a message um, about the interest meeting. At the same time, God had told me to leave my family church. And I had just been made a pastor of like the youth, like is it like teaching them every Sunday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it was quite funny that I had to turn around and go, yeah, God wants me to go. Um, but yeah, they let me go, uh, which was good. And um, <clears throat> something was confirmed basically in, in my pastor's preaching at the time. Um, I told God, okay, I need like a confirmation as to you know, where you want me to go and stuff. And he said a she, um, she said a specific thing um, in her sermon, which made me realise, okay, cool, I'm, I'm good to go. So I left, went to another church in the interim, uh, got a prophecy at that church as well, as, and like a few like other visions that people had of me, um, that was basically talking about my transition, um, and talking about where I'm going to go. Um, the church was named as well, before the church name went public by, this, by the person who prophesied to me. Um, and then, yeah, I went to the interest meeting, um, well, before I went to that church. And yeah, everything was confirmed. I felt like, okay, this is where God's telling me to go. And yeah, now we're here, four years later. Um, I joined a and after I had, I had left my previous church. Um, when I left, I was very apprehensive about joining another church. Um, I was with Tosan at the time, and I still am. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I was very apprehensive, as I said. But there was one day I was journaling whilst I was at my old church, and the Lord literally told me that I would be pastored by Pastor I on past season. At the time, I didn't know them. Um, but when we left, um, Tosan connected with Pastor I on past season, and then I eventually met them. Then I attended the interest meeting as um, Iman said in 2019 and it was amazing and since then I've been here. Yeah and even just to elaborate on what you know my wife was saying I think even whilst we was in um, Kadosh I remember towards the end of that time um, I recall having a dream and I had a dream and literally in that dream um, we was in an office like an office space and it was Aisha and I were sitting on one side and opposite us was, you know, PA and PS. And at this time, you know, I didn't know them um, at all. I'd seen them once or twice before because I've seen them at previous like, church conferences, but I didn't know them, hadn't spoken to them. And I can't even lie to you, I'm not really someone that kind of dreams often. So um, it seemed kind of weird, and, but, but it was also quite powerful and prominent. And obviously, you know, when we did kind of leave, I remember going to at 412 and that was kind of awesome etc and i can't lie you know since then pa and ps have been in our lives ever since and we journeyed with them and spent some time at clf as well you know before kind of going to the the interest meeting that was as Eman said i think april yeah 2019 and, and literally from there we've just we've just been here literally yeah yeah so with the whole interest meeting and um us being told that yeah the church is going to be in a flat my first reaction was um, I wasn't really taken aback. I think for me, um, I liked the idea that it was really just going to be about Jesus. Because I feel like I, I've, I've been to you know, so many different churches, I've grown up in the church, I've seen all the organisational structures and stuff. And after a while, depending on the church you're in, it can become inauthentic and it can become just a routine that you're doing. But knowing that actually we're going to be building a community from the ground up, there's more of like a weight and a seriousness to it. And so I really, um, I really enjoyed the idea that like we're going to be doing this in a house, you know, similar to how they did in Acts, you know, and it was just about Jesus and it was just about them being together and communing around him. So I was actually quite excited uh, about it. So. Um, for me, when I found out that we we're going to be in a flat, um, I just thought like this is different, but it's new mm -hmm. Um it's still growing and I think I just was very open-minded about it. I knew we wouldn't be here forever, but I knew that these moments, those moments were very crucial to the foundation of the church. So as Iman said, it was just very exciting to be a part of the journey. Yeah, and I think for me, I mean, how did I feel when we was like going to be in a flat? I don't know. Like, I, I guess it was, like you say, new. I think I kind of felt like responsibility, I guess, you know, like I'd never been in a position where, you know, we were like part of the founding people right to kind of just see this so you can see what's blossomed to now is crazy but it's just like yeah i don't know it was a i just it was just new i felt responsibility yeah um it was just intimate it's just the way i would describe it you know even when 
you know, we would have the kind of church service. I remember PA would have like a piece of paper, you know, he likes to do all these drawings and stuff like that. You know? <laughs> and that's how he would, you know, he would have his piece of paper and he would preach off that. And it's, it's crazy to think time just flown, but, um, but yeah. <laughs> What's up with my hair? Oh my God. Wow. Wow. See, hey! I'm not gonna ask you. I'm like you What's going on in your for real? What's going on in your emotions? What's going on in there? How are you processing what God said? What makes you determine the outcome of, of, you know, what you're doing, where you're going, and what you actually, you know. I am too, baby! Oh gosh, so for me, I would say watching that video back really brought back memories and it's very humbling just to see how far we've come. Um, I can definitely say it's just been a blessing to see it from the ground up and I'm just excited for what the next four, ten years from now would plus would be like. Funniest moment, after um, our se um, Sunday sessions, we just knew that there was going to be hummus and pizza bread. Yeah. And that was my favourite part, to be honest. Like, <laughs> we'll all just come to the table, yeah, chicken wings, uh. have hummus and um, pizza bread. And it was just so nice. And like, we'll watch movies sometimes, yeah. have debates. I think for me, that those were just the best times, yeah. Um, oh God, yeah, watching those videos back, it's just nostalgia, you know, I just obviously I was way slimmer. <laughs> I was slimmer, my chill was different. Um, no, but it's, <laughs> um, no, but it's just amazing to see, honestly. It's just a nice feeling. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's really nice, you know, and the time has just flown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. Obviously, you know, this was a church where I felt so comfortable. This is a church where I feel like it's very authentic. This is a church for me where I feel like PA and PS were just like real people. I, I felt like they are an example of like that pastors can be real people, if that makes sense. You know, there's no there's no gimmicks, um, and I think that's what I liked about it the most. Uh, that's what I love about it even now is the kind of authenticity. Um, you know, look, we've received a lot of words. You know. The, the three of us sitting here have received a lot of words about ministry for a long time, right? But it's like, I think, for me, seeing PA and PS has kind of like, you know, given me a glimmer of what it would look like, let's say, if it was to fully say yes and kind of do this thing. This is a church where, of course, Ash and I got married. You know, this is the church, you know, even when we got engaged, you know, you know, after we, after I proposed, sorry, in the restaurant, you know, PA and PS came, as well as, you know, Apostle Eman and Pastor Toby to, to pray over us. This is, you know, a church where we've had our first child. You know, so this has impacted my life. Like, I've grown up here. You know, I've, I've matured here. I've been through key years of my life here. I've been unemployed here. I've been employed here. You know, I've, it, it's that type of thing for me. That's how I describe it, yeah. ANT has impacted me in many ways, like it's really highlighted my flaws as well as um, the good things in me, it's brought things out of me that I never thought was in me. Um, just see, having conversations sometimes with PS after Sunday session, um, just like encouraging me to do things and then me actually doing those things and it's like if I didn't have that conversation maybe I wouldn't have done it. Um, also it has introduced me to amazing people that I admire, um, a lot of amazing women and men in the house that have really inspired me with their gifts, with just them being themselves and it's been amazing to connect with them and if I didn't go to a and I may have never met them so it's just been really good all around. It has confronted a lot of things, kind of similar to what I just said, like mm. I think um, I've seen myself like in a more holistic way mm -hmm. um, whether it be the negatives whether it be the positives and like I think um, having leaders that aren't afraid to challenge you mm -hmm. 
um, is also a beauty as well. Like I feel like I've had to grow in um, in learning how to submit, mm. learning how to um, be led by other people. Because mm. um, so I feel like for me, my story has been I've had to kind of lead myself for a long time just because of my upbringing and like um, being a young carer and stuff from early. But I feel like here, it's the opposite. Like they don't want me to to um, what's that word? Assume leadership all the time, but actually be somebody who can follow, somebody who can submit, somebody who can be covered. I'm looking forward to the future of a and um, because I just know from all the prophecies that we've received from just how Sunday sessions have been on Sundays as well as the community outside that is going to grow. I'm looking forward to seeing more children, more marriages, families, just growing with people. I'm looking forward actually to seeing more um, just a diverse community, I think more cultures as well. That would yeah, just be nice. Yeah.